All right, guys. Got some new stuff. Whole bunch of new parts. What's up? What did we just install? A skid plate? Yeah, the uh, T-Bone Racing skid plate. And bumper. On the Rustler 4x4 VXL. And the basher front bumper. Because that's what we do. We bash with the, the tracks and stuff. You know? It's made for. Trying out this new gimbal, so bear with us. It's my first time. Got some shot covers for that. Keep her a little more clean. It looks real sleek. And we got this dust cover for the entire thing. <clears throat> yeah, the, these are uh, the Dusty Motors chassis. Uh, Uh, full chassis covers pretty much for the top they're pretty sweet I got it for the Revo actually it seems it's probably a little bit bigger than the one would be for the rustler here but it looks like it'll fit just the same about and I didn't think about it before I ordered it but it just isn't gonna work the way it that would be efficient on the Revo, so just Velcro's on. We'll put it on. We'll on put the it on. Side. We'll put it on Chris's wrestler. Got a whole bunch of stuff today. Didn't even know about. That was like, yeah, I had a whole bunch of parts laying around. I really like this car. My first one. Matt got it for me. First hobby grade, yeah. For yeah, sure. first one. Uh, so you've been getting into some other types of cars recently. Yeah, well I was, I, when I was a kid I always raced the tent steel stadium trucks. So I, uh, I went out and bought a T5M from Associate, an Asso Team Associated T5M on eBay. Came with the Reedy Servo, Reedy Black Box, and some, a battery, Reedy battery few other things and the truck looked really nice looks like it never been raced hardly it was a factory team truck and um, I just soaked my tire foam that's why tire sauce is everywhere but um, this truck here all I needed to get for it was transponder receiver and I put a uh, Trinity Rev uh, X Factor uh, 13.5 team motor in this with a Trinity 30 millimeter fan. Looks amazing. And it's got the uh, J Concepts dog bones and outdrives. And then it's got a uh, brass C block, aluminum D block. It's got the Kashima coated Fox bodies shock bodies on it those are beautiful yeah they're pretty cool it's just i a, love that color combination. it's just a color thing it's, it's yeah. all the thing it, it's only you can see it on the bench but you'll never feel it on the track <laughs> and then it's funny. got the uh what is it the the rc screws aluminum screw kit or stainless steel screw kit So you've been racing that on clay, right? Yep, yep. We raced this on clay. I actually just found a gear diff at side tracks up in Grand Rapids by the track that I race at, so I'll probably pick that up from Craig here pretty soon. And then uh, I may do a direct drive on it eventually, but I kind of like the way a stadium truck drives and handles coming out of the corners. A little better with a slipper. I think I'm a little bit more used to a slipper. So I might stay with that. No, this is your truck, right? Yeah, this is a stadium truck. Okay. There's a, This is a two-wheel drive stadium truck. Um, the next thing I would really like to get into would be the Truggy. I'd like to buy a Techno Truggy soon. It would be the ET410 is the cool Techno Truggy, which is basically a four-wheel drive stadium truck. And uh, it has a buggy wing on it, so they call it a Truggy. 
And it, that thing is very cool. Very cool. So you get but, this uh, little guy. The V6.2, that's the most popular class up there, the two wheel drive buggy, 17.5 stock class. And that's what I've really been focusing on. And yeah, that team associated V6.2 is brand new. And that thing is. That thing's in a whole nother world. This thing's basically stock factory factory buggy. Uh, it's got the it's got the carbon fiber. Here, give it this some room. Yeah, that's probably too tight, buddy. The thing I like. The thing I like about these is how light you can make them nowadays, and uh, the amount of cool factory team stuff that comes with the buggy right out of the box. I really like that. And then uh, this has a slipper eliminator, so it has a direct drive kit, and then it has a. I'm running a Hobbywing XR10 stock 80 amp speed control, I think that's what it is. Yeah. And then uh, just the standard Futaba receiver, the R334 SBS with a Savic servo that I've actually recently, as of last night, destroyed because I hit the wall driving aggressively, um, trying to get used to things, figure things out. That's what happens, that's what you do. But this is uh, racing these folks has been a lot of fun just because it's a different line than what I usually do I mean I've I've been into the hobby for a long time but I've haven't raced in probably over 15 years so it's it's made it fun to be able to come to do stuff like this you painted this body too this is beautiful. yep yeah I painted all of them the accents just look awesome. Thanks, dude. Super cool. Sometimes I try. Yeah. This is your first one, right? Yeah, that's the first one I've painted in probably 10 years. Super cool. The airbrush didn't turn out like the lines didn't turn out exactly like I wanted them. But the flames turned out better than I could have asked for. So, I'm happy enough with that. The pinstripe's kind of shady, but hey, it's first timer. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. But uh, we're gonna take out the slash, or no, sorry, we're gonna take out Tra Chris's Rustler 4x4 today. Just put the skid plate and the front bumper on that. That's gonna be awesome. Looks really cool with those shot covers. A little Thank bit you, more buddy. weight. Maybe it'll keep it on the ground a little better for you. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to take this out. But first I'm going to pull my uh, gear cover off and make sure there's a pinion still on there. Because I don't remember if I destroyed it last time or not. But I think I might have. That thing's super cool as well. I think it's good to go. So a whole different type of driving. Yeah, with the uh, the thing is, is with the Traxxas stuff, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you go out in the backyard, you have no planned route. You know, it doesn't matter where you go or what you do. When you go and race, you have an eight foot wide course 
that you need to stay on with 10 other guys and put down your fastest lap times consistently to be able to keep up with them. And that, that makes it hard. So it's a clay track and but you guys... Very enjoyable. You guys are putting uh, stuff to make your tires more slick. Uh, it makes them more grippy. Yeah, or yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, tire sauce, it makes them stick. Um, they, they have all different kinds of tire sauces and compounds. But uh, there's a guy up there, our buddy Jeff, and he makes, he owns the SXT brand. And so we, we, we try and support him and her and all SXT. It seems to work good. So we were talking about the difference in uh, the A-arm uh, angles from the buggy to the truck. Yeah, well the, the newer design B6.2, that has a, um, you can, you can use this buddy. Use that, that zooms in too? Yeah. Sweet. That's pretty sweet. So, uh, the new 6.2 has the gall wing, I think they call it, A-arms, which they dip down hard until you get to the shock area. And then in the shock area, they kind of angle back to the axle so that it, it, it kind of seems like it keeps the drive line straighter and it maintains decent amount of ground clearance while also maintaining suspension travel. And like under uh, load. Increasing your drive line, your drive line levelness and resist zero resistance basically is what you're looking for on the drive line. So the straighter it is, the more proper it's going to work and unload the way it should. What do you like driving better? Mm. Like the truck or the buggy? I honestly prefer stadium truck. Really? But my buggy handles better because it's a 6.2 generator. It's a little bit newer, a little bit I, I think the guys at the track have helped me a little bit more with my buggy. Not to say that they haven't helped me with my stadium truck at all, but they're more, the 6.2 buggy is a more recent buggy for the clay track as where the stadium truck isn't, there. there's 60 people, 70 people there average that race buggies. There's might be 10 people there with those 60 people that race a stadium truck. So it's hard to one get a class on average race nights that's going to have a stadium truck race and two to find guys fast guys that really know what they're doing except for a couple guys at the track that i trust with the stadium trucks so you only drive these ones inside yep the ones with the slicks yep well, that's crazy So what do you like better, bashing cars or racing cars? I would say racing. I love bashing just because a lot more of my friends bash, but I really like racing just because I'm competitive and I, I really like the, the tunability aspect when you're racing and really getting into the setup of your car and making it handle the way it should and be competitive with everyone else so close to the point where it's almost like it's like stock car racing or NASCAR racing I mean the cars are so close to each other but everyone can do enough of little bit of changes and differences to make their car handle or faster some guys like a fast some guys like a loose car some guys like a fast car and it's, it, it's a lot of fun to me to walk through the pits and see the different setups and see the different tires and shock 
combinations that guys are running and how they think it handles. And to go through and change everything and make things different on your car and see how it reacts and see how it improves or might damper your driving capabilities, you know? Yeah, it was crazy. You were just, like, aligning everything, like... These are so much more adjustable than like our four by fours that we just like go out. Yeah, and these. With. I mean, Traxxas is more more based around, I think, getting a newer driver into the hobby and making it affordable, easy to find parts for, and easy, very, very, very easy to work on. Yeah. And extremely durable. I mean, these cars are extremely durable, Traxxas cars. But uh, the racing car, I mean, the Associated, Losi, Yokomo, those brand of cars, X-Ray, they're, they're, the quality in which they're built is a whole nother world. I mean, the standards at which this car and the buggy are built at are far exceed the standards at which any Traxxas vehicle has ever been built. That's awesome. And that makes it a world of difference when it comes to being able to set it up and tune it on the car and make it handle the way you'd wish. So it really just depends on what people would want to do and what people like. So if you really like bashing, you're going to have fun with a Traxxas car, you know, but if you... If you really want to race and you really like tuning and doing that kind of stuff, you're going to like racing, you know? I mean, it's... I like both of them. I like being able to bash because I work at a gravel pit and it's, it makes my family, a lot of guys in my family like RC cars as well and we all have big things like the Revo or the X-Max, T-Maxes back in the day. We all grew up with T-Maxes and stampedes and stuff and um it was just it was just so much fun in the gravel pit and that's kind of what got us into it and a lot of guys in my family flew airplanes that's what got me into the aviation side of the hobby and but to me racing makes it fun because to go to the track and have 30 or 40 other guys on an average race night doing the same thing you are and interested in the same thing and just absolutely crazy out of their minds and not yeah, thinking about a single other thing besides these little cars. Those guys are super dedicated. To me is like that's the coolest thing because our hop this hobby is is what well, has been dying and it's it's really cool to see people still so dedicated and passionate about Toy cars, basically, you know, and I mean, they take well, it to a whole other level. Yeah, you brought it back to life. <laughs> and I mean, those some of those guys up there, like you said, man, they're they're a whole other world of dedicated. I mean, dude, look at all the tires. Andrew Knapp and Brad Cranger, those boys, those two are into it good. Got paddle tires, stock tires. Oh, that's nothing, dude. You got boxes of tires. That's nothing. All right, well, we should do some bashing. Uh, lately, we've been hitting the ramp we built and launching it into the, what's that, like a hay exit or something? They throw hay bales out? Yeah, old hay chute. There's also some big uh, swinging open doors that you can stand in the top layer of the barn and kind of see the whole yard. But yeah, you also have been jumping onto the roof of that, haven't you? Yes. And you actually, one time, you missed it and you launched all the way over it. I did. What car was that, your Slash? That was with the Slash. Why is there mud all over your barn? I may or may not have jumped in here my own barn the other night. You roosted your own barn? That's awesome.
Yeah, this thing looks amazing. A little on the large side, eh? Might be too big. It might be too big. Looks a lot too big. Can't believe it doesn't fit on the other one. It would, but my battery box is open from the side. So it'd be no fun. It'd be just goofiness. You just put it on and off after that. I'm, they make these for uh, my size car, though. Yeah. I definitely need to get one. Let me see that. What are you taking apart now? Uh -oh. I'm going to see if they're the same size hexes. I can't remember if they're or not. So where have you been racing? What's that place called? Grand River RC. The best place in Michigan. Race RC cars. It's in Grand Rapids? Yep. After you've been there four or five times, you don't even know you're driving there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It seriously fits? Yeah. That's danger zone right there. Stiffen the shocks up. Run it in, what's it, open class? Yeah, you can run, you could run one, run what you've run. Look out. I should, I've got a full don't set of do it. For you. you could run the truggy class. I should just run these in the yard so I don't flip over so much. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe you just run them today and see what it's like. <laughs> I got a full set of crispies here for it. It's probably too much snow. I would be stuck like a mug. Super beautiful, though. Would you say this is modified very much because of the drive shafts and the shocks and all the fans yeah. and stuff? This is modified? Yeah. Look out. Look out, you saw again. You saw again. So this thing was $400 to begin with. What do you, how much do you think we have into this car? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Not that terribly much. I Com wouldn't say. Compared I mean, to, like, your Revo is completely stuck, except tires, right? Uh, no, that has a lot to do it, too. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's got steel center drive shafts, solid steel spur and pinion, um, what else? It's got the A-arm guards on it, Badland Pro-Line tires. Other than that, it is stock. Geeking up my car, man. Dude, it's gonna look sweet. <laughs> this is gonna look like a freaking sweet stadium truck. Everyone's gonna laugh at me. They're gonna know. I'm gonna be the only four wheel drive there. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> People are gonna be like, dude, that thing handles amazing. I can keep it on the ground. Looks like a carpet car, kinda. I don't know, it completely changed the look though. I can't believe those little tires clear everything there. Just barely. I would get so much grass bound up in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome that, that you can just swap out giant tires or like little tiny ones. For little ones. Or the paddles, I love those paddles. Oh. Oh, it won't clear the front. I knew it. There's just too much. You got wheel spacers? You got different offset of rims? I'm sure we could find a different offset of rims. Some of them were, but these aren't. None of these are. These are all the same. Shattering little boy's dreams right here. Thing would look just like a fucking tractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet it would just roast those little tires. Look at the antenna in there. Look at it. Look at it. Looks so much cooler with those, uh. With the little tires? No, with the shot covers. Bro, it looks so much cooler with the little tires on it. Look at it from this side. 
No, that's weird. I'm not into that. Oh, that looks crazy. Looks like a hot rod truck. Race truck. Wheelie popper. Mm hmm. We were debating on getting what this or the, what's that truck called? Stampede. The Stampede. Yeah, there. I've never, I never saw it in real life. Matt was like, "You want your stock tires back on?" I would prefer those. Let's grab, grab them. Because they, I think they have less traction, and I don't think I need more traction right now <laughs> with the way I drive. And I really, I like the looks of these. Well, once I graduate, I'll probably use these. Oh, what are you doing? What did you do? That was all you, man. I'll probably get blamed for it. <laughs> Don't do it. Ooh, they stink. Uh -huh. Weird. That's super... Sure they're still blue. They're just gonna deteriorate. Yeah, it looks a little less aggressive, I'd say. Mega less aggressive. Looks completely stock now. Yeah, it does. And gay. Yeah, it doesn't look as cool. But I think it handles better, don't you? No. Well, then leave these in. <laughs> Alright, so all the batteries are charged. Should we just run it like this? One mismatch yeah. there in the front, one mismatch there in yeah. the side, and two on the back? See what breaks first. <laughs> Differential. <laughs> Probably what it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say now. Let's go do some jumps. Well, we're gonna have to clean them, aren't we? There's a lot of snow out there. Well, that's we cleaning. should just put the paddles on. You do a lot of cleaning. Oh, look at all those deer in the yard. Little jokers. Get out of there! We gotta get out of there. Till next time, amigos.